Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for see or some more Hearthstone. Today we'll be looking at a few games with the Unleash the Giants deck. Don't want that in my opening hand and I actually don't mind these two. It's not ideal and I could probably have tried to replace those for some early game damage, but I don't mind the, mind the Mountain Giant, especially if I let my hand fill up. And uh, the Defender of Argus is one of the key components in dropping those Giants, so that's sort of why I decided to hold on to what I did. But anyways, here's some gameplay with the Unleash the Giants. Not super thrilled about this deck. Uh, maybe it's just this variation. It just it doesn't seem that fantastic. But you know what, I've said that before and had decks perform fairly well, so we'll just have to see how this goes. All right, so gonna be opening up there with a Novice Engineer. Actually, that's something that might not be too awful in this deck. Come to think of it. Uh, simply because using it to draw into the big beastly cards plus getting an early game. I ended up removing, there was a single corruption in the deck. The original deck list had two corruptions. I didn't really like that. I replaced one corruption with a shadow flame. And I replaced the second corruption with a void walker. Uh, I just don't, I just don't really like the card uh, to be honest with you. So even though I played it in the last video, I decided to remove it this time around. All right, so we got three, six, yeah, we've still got plenty of room, so let's go ahead and uh, tap into another card. Don't exactly want Lord Jaraxxus at this point in the game, but hey, hell, what can you do? And we're going to be able to play the Mountain Giant next turn for four. One of the great things about this deck, getting out an early Mountain Giant, kind of hilarious. So next turn we draw another card, drops it down to four, we've got the crystals to play it. Bada boom, bada bing. And here's a cruel Taskmaster hitting us for three. Well, not the Taskmaster himself, but the Novice Engineer popped up from the Taskmaster. You know what I'm trying to say. All right, we're gonna go. Um, yeah, I mean, you could argue ping that, but hell, if I don't love a mountain giant right now. So, hmm. But he'll, he's just gonna walk in and kill it. I mean, and then he's gonna he's got stuff to play in upcoming turns anyways that could destroy my game plan. So, yeah, there's an eight eight. Let's have him deal with that. He can, he's got five damage on the board, so he's just gonna need to do another three to it. Uh, good good thing though is the warrior doesn't have a lot of direct damage, he does have weapons, but obviously a weapon attacking into an 8-8 eight eight is terrifying in and of itself, so. I don't think that was that, a bad play. Uh, if he decides to ignore it, we can mortal coil this thing in an upcoming turn. Uh, he might have something to pump up some of these guys, uh, although I, I assume if he had an obvious answer, he would have played it by now. Well, here we go, four, yeah, he's got the, he's got the kill for it. Whoa, whoa, really? Wow. I mean, yeah, sure, I'm at 13 now, so maybe that's not a terrible idea. Um, I think I'm gonna do this, though, clear the board. I, I almost wanna go with the Mortal Coil first just to get the card draw off of it. Even though, you know, this is gonna kill it anyways, I kinda want the card draw. What I'm basically I'm hoping for, um, I'm hoping for one of my lava guys. The, yeah, there we go, there he is. So he'll be coming out soon. For now though, we're gonna Hellfire. And actually we can drop him now too. So why don't we just do that? And um, I'm not gonna Soul Fire because I don't wanna discard yet, but we've got two eights on the board now. We are at 10. He's not at the point where he's got some crazy charge that can kill us in one turn. Though he could certainly have some pretty big threats right now. Um, I actually feel like we we could potentially win this game, and I'm gonna be I'll be honest with you I'll be surprised at most wins that we get with this uh, in this video here, because the deck's been performing around I'd say around 60 to 70 percent. I put more time in it. I've been able to pull out wins, but I don't think it's the deck itself that's making that happen. All right, so he's got executes. And he's got a fiery war axe. He's gonna hit the eight three with that. Ouch, that is painful. And actually, ooh, no, yes, we have fatal damage. <laughs> we have fatal damage. That is a riot. Actually, now we have multiple forms of fatal damage. But wow, pulling out the win. Holy hell, I am. That is crazy. All right, game number one in victory. Oh, man, thank you. Well played to you, too. Now let's go ahead and move on to game number two. And our next game here is actually against another Warlock. Hopefully it's not another Giants deck. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb. Well, it's, most Warlocks that I see are aggro, so it's not that much of a limb. I'm gonna just assume that this is aggro, and I'm gonna keep my opening hand. I've got a lot of damage to, to deal with any potential early game threats. Um, and that's what we're going to want to do. So get the Mortal Coil for one health minions. Get the Hellfire, for that, which would pretty much clear his board if he is aggro Warlock. 
Uh, but if he, once again, if he is playing a Giants Warlock, which we actually played in the Spotlight video, hilariously enough, uh, then I don't know that this hand is, well, this hand won't do me much good, except for maybe the Iron Beak Owl. You know what, I could have, I could have replaced the Corruption with a second Iron Beak Owl. That's another, uh, that's another possibility. Or that's something that I, that I, hmm. I'll have to consider. I like the Void Walker though, I don't think it's bad. Thank you for finally passing. And ooh, like the Twilight Drake too, especially in this matchup here. That actually makes me quite, quite happy. Mmm, very nice. So next turn we will life tap, and then the turn after we're gonna be able to get a coined Twilight Drake. Oh, he might- he, this might be a mirror matchup. That would be so funny. I won the last one, but I'm not gonna pretend that that's just like super high quality gameplay. It really just came down to me having the right cards in my hand for that particular game matchup. This will be funny though, because if I can drop the Twilight Drake, it'll be a few turns before he can deal with it if he has that sort of removal. So this is, uh, th I am, <laughs> all right. Looks like it is, looks like it is in fact some variant of this, of this uh, style of deck. So here we go. There's the Twilight Drake. Have fun dealing with eight health at this point in the game. He's only got access to four mana right now, so he's not gonna be able to Siphon Soul. He's two turns away from that. Now the question is, do I attack into him and bring his health down further? Well, there is a Mountain Giant, so that's good for him. Sucks for me. Um, I can do this, so he has to attack into this thing at least. Uh, we also have the Shadow Bolt, which we could do. Can't do that both this turn, but... This will force him to attack into that. It'll save me the health. And I could, I might even Faceless Manipulator that thing in an upcoming turn. I mean, I've, there's options, there are certainly options here. I wish he had one more health, obviously, at this point though. That'd be fantastic. All right, well, I'm gonna do this to save myself the health. And then I am going to attack into him. And let's go ahead and tap into Void Walker, okay. All right, so this is a very interesting situation here. So I'll be sitting at five next turn. I could Faceless Manipulator, but then I can't do this. Oh boy. I've got other things that I can do as well, but. I can I can also do that. So I could faceless manipulator to this and then soul fire to get rid of that guy. I and I think I'm gonna do that. I just don't want him to I don't, I don't want him to hit me for 16 next turn. Oh god, that's the worst. <laughs> that is the worst. Now you could say he hits you for 16, you're down to 10, and then you can that play the mountain giant, but I mean the molten giant, but you know, I don't know. Now, obviously with that Siphon Soul, that's rough. I've got a Siphon Soul of my own. So we're gonna do that. And now we're both at 21, what a game. Either way, what a game, I can't, that, that is unbelievable. The odds that we end up losing that, that card are rather small and it's rather unfortunate. All right, so this is gonna cost six now. I'm gonna go with that, plus a Void Walker. Now I have the Silence that I can turn that to one health, but I really wanted to get this 8-8 eight eight in play. So I'm, gonna not, I'm not gonna give him a free Giant. So right now his giant still cost a bit, so he can't play it for free. And I want to be able to kill him in one turn, basically. So I've got 8, 9, 10, 11 damage on the board. There's a second Siphon Soul, holy crap. Look at that. Shields up. Well, that puts me in a really, really tough situation right now, actually. That puts me in a very, very tough situation. Four, five, six, seven. I can't do all of that. 
but I'd love to get this guy in play. So what I'm going to do is this, and this, and we're actually going to lose my 2-3, uh, because I wanted to get this guy in play, which made it so that I didn't have enough for the Mortal Coil as well. I want to get my 4-7 in play. This is, I don't know, I can't believe I lost the Giant, that's so awful. I've got things to kill any giants he may throw down. We're not giving him free giants yet, so. A corruption, okay. And a rag, look at that. Yeah, there's a good choice for this deck. Why don't I throw a rag in this deck? That'd be a great idea. That would work very, very well. All right, so it looks like we're gonna go. We're gonna go with this for the card draw. I do plan to Twisting Nether, but. I just wanted to uh, get the card draw off of that. This thing's dying anyways. And actually, forget the Twisting Nether, let's go with this. And then let's go ahead and Life Tap. Okay. All right, so we still have the Twisting Nether. If he does a crazy drop on the field, we'll, we'll have that to clear the board. But I don't have any, I don't have many more threats at this point which is really scary. Now I've got the Drain Life so I can direct damage to him, but that's only four damage. So, three five taunts, okay. I might go Shadow Bolt Hellfire. Yeah, that might be what I do. I might try to get him to throw stuff on the board. Ooh, Jaraxxus, very, very nice. Oh, that's gonna make a big difference this game. I'm not going to play it right now, though. Let's go ahead and life tap. Bring me down to 10. And, um... I'm actually... Mm, crap, actually. Um... You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm actually going to Hellfire. And then drain life. Yeah. That's, yeah. Why, why that? Well, because I worry about a double soul fire finishing me off if I'm down at eight. So at least this saves me from that. But he could still have a kill if he's got double soul fire plus a drain life. So this is a very My tough situation. Earthen ring farseer, okay. That's really kind of weird. I mean, you know, he could be in a situation where he's thinking, yeah, yeah this really sucks actually. I'm gonna go with this. Was a mistake. Yeah, I don't exactly know what he's doing. So, unless he drops... My seal for Argus. Job's done. Unless he drops his big giants, I'm not going to Twisting Nether at this point. Oh, this is such a great game. I honestly don't even care if I lose this game. This game's going... I, I just like the, the back and forth between us. It could be, it could be a turn for a Lord Jaraxxus coming up. We'll have to see. What does he have as a Shadow Bolt? I guess he's gonna finish this off now. Double Shadow Bolt it. And Mortal Coil to finish it off. That's hilarious. Ah, terrible. All right, so we're gonna have to Twisting Nether. Uh, but if he's got a Soul Fire, I lose. So. But I can't not Twisting Nether. If I Lord Jaraxxus, that's not enough. You know, he's going to just kill me next turn. He's got the damage on the board, so I kind of have to Twisting Nether. Oh my good lord. See, if I Lord Jaraxxus, I'm at 15, and he's got that damage on the board, so I need to do this. I've got no choice, so there it is, Lord. Twisting Nether. And then I hope I live the turn to Lord Jaraxxus. Uh, I probably don't though. This is probably the game. He's got a few different things that he could do. There it is. All right, well, that's the game. So game number two ends up in a loss. I think that was a still a fun game though. Let's go ahead and move on to one final match. And the final matchup for today is against, uh, it's a mage. A mage? This is, it's like the worst matchup. The whole idea of this deck is to get low in health and a mage loves 
a low health opponent. <laughs> so this is this is going to be horrible. It, it's, it's, this is not going to go well at all. Happy that I opened up with a Void Walker though. It's just a nice, nice little pain in the butt for him to deal with. This part of me really thinks I should be running two of these. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure what I'd take out. I'm sure this deck list uh, that I highlighted yesterday could use some tweaking. There's really no doubt about that, but... I'm liking the fact that I'm gonna start pinging him nice and early. He's gonna have uh, kind of a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What are you doing for... What are you doing? Oh, no! Look at that, Frost Bolt. All right, well, at least it's not in my face. So that's good. There's a Hellfire, that's very nice. There's a second Hellfire. Oh. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but yeah, I expect this to be just horrible, horrible loss here. I can't envision a scenario where I, I beat a mage like with this particular deck. It's just highly improbable. Throw this guy down, hmm? Restore some health to me? Nah, draw a card, get a bigger uh, Twilight Trick next turn. Which likely gets sheeped, but you can't say I didn't try, right? That's gonna be the plan. Unless he throws down some more small minions, then I might actually Hellfire. That's not what he's doing. Ouch! Yikes! Yes, this is this is a loss. <laughs> this is a mega loss. Uh, it's so funny. All right, here we go. Twilight Drake gets a four eight. Here comes the sheep. Come on, I know, I know you have it. Just sheep this thing. Just sheep it in the face. It's a freeze, okay. Means I'm not doing anything this turn. And, and then what, you're gonna Ice Lance it for four? Okay. And then you could technically kill it if you throw everything at it, and that is actually what you're going to do. Oh, wow. No? All right. Well. Double Mortal Coil? <laughs> you might actually see me do that. Or do this. Maybe want to save that, actually. Yikes, 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 yikes. Um, this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go with him. And I am actually going to double Mortal Coil, believe it or not. That's my game plan. So he doesn't have the easy kill, he'll have to use something else to get rid of that. And I like gaining some life from the uh, Earthen Ring Farseer. And this matchup sort of necessary. There's a Kona Cold, okay. And then he's got what? You got Arcane Explosion, yeah. And then next turn he gets to ping one of them easily. Now I could try to offset that. If I can Defender of Argus, and if he doesn't have two damage across the board, this could actually work. I'm gonna do that. I think there's a good chance it's not gonna work out in my favor. He just needs to uh, Blizzard, for example, but who knows? It's a possibility. This could potentially work out. If he has a Blizzard, super fail. If he doesn't, all right. He could also have another Arcane Explosion. He could also have another, there's a lot of things he could have. We're playing against a Mage. The, my worst matchup, undoubtedly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna truck away, I'm gonna do what I can, nonetheless. Looks like he's got no easy answer right now, because again, Situation where we're like, okay, come on, please, RNG gods, work in my favor. That actually doesn't make me thrilled, but that it could have been worse. Mmm, mm-hmm, okay, okay, this is exciting. This is actually very exciting. We're gonna go with him, and we're not gonna do this guy yet. What we're gonna do is this guy, we're copying him. Okay, so I'm at 12, I'm probably screwed, but we have two 8-8s in play. We've got an upcoming Defender of Argus to pump them up. He's used a Sheep already, which at this point I think he's probably regretting. He's still likely get a second. Oh no! Oh no, I don't like waiting. I'm gonna have to wait now. Okay, that's fine. I can kill that. You draw a card. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go now, here we go now. I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna do this. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. 
18, 19, 20, 20. We've got, I mean, we have fatal damage on the board. If he doesn't have another freeze, he needs to, he needs to draw a blizzard here with his arcane intellect. Does he draw a blizzard? Did he draw a blizzard? I can't believe, are we gonna win? Are we gonna win? No, 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 no. There's no way we should win this matchup. No way. Are we gonna win? What are you, what are you playing? His Frostbolt, okay, you freeze one of them so I don't kill you yet. And then your Arcane Missiles. Okay, you didn't kill anything, you did one damage to me. That's okay. And then you're gonna ping me, oh no, you kill that, okay. All right, still though, still. Good Lord. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven soul, that's good, that's good, that's good. All right, so damage pushing to his face is quite a lot here. And, oh my lord, we win the game. What the hell? Ha <laughs> ha, woo, wow. I did not expect that at all. Well, ended up going out two and one. Uh, probably could have won game two if I played it a little differently. I definitely don't think I played game two that, that great. But honestly, this, uh, this thing exceeded my expectations, so. You know, there you go. That's uh, pretty awesome stuff if you ask me. So, taking a look once again at the Unleash the Giants deck. Uh, this is the deck that was spotlighted the other day. If you'd like to see that deck list and all that sort of fun stuff, check out that other video. Uh, and that pretty much does it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hearthstone gameplay of Unleash the Giants. Pretty fun, although very gimmicky, gimmicky and not super reliable Warlock deck. I uh, still think it is uh, entertaining nonetheless. Thanks again for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe, keep watching, and keep owning.